for Mrs. Agnes Okujato, who died tragically today, but also for the MCE for Bibiani, who came, was part of the MMDCs who came to visit with me in Accra on Tuesday and on his way back met his tragic death in an accident. I would like all of us to remember him, a valiant son of our party and movement. May so and the souls of all the faithful departed rest and abide in the bosom of the Lord until the last day of the resurrection when we shall all meet again. Amen. It's great to have you all here. A crowd stadium has never been so, has never looked so good as it looks today, taken over by the new patriotic party. It's good to see you all here. And we're here to complete the process of internal elections of our party. The final lap in electing party officials. We began with electing polling station executives to 38,000 plus polling stations, five member executives. We elected 6,260 electoral area coordinators. We've elected 4,658 constituency executives and 160 regional elections. All levels of our party have been involved in these internal elections. And today, we are crowning it with the national elections. No political party in Ghana has displayed the organizational skill and capacity that we in the MPP have done. And God bless the new patriotic party. And we've gone through these elections with a lot of composure, composure and with unity and coherence. And my prayer is that when we finish these elections today, the same composure, the same unity, the same coherence will guide our future. I want to use this occasion also to say a big thank you to the leadership of the Trades Union Congress and organized labor for agreeing to the arrangements they came to the other day with the Minister for Employment and Labor and Minister for Finance. The agreement was in the national interest of Ghana that we should go forward to confront the difficulties of our country without the divisiveness of strikes and the confusions that they will bring. So I want to say a big thank you to organized labor for reaching this agreement because it de demonstrates also the concern that our party has always had and will continue to have for the concerns of the working people of Ghana. During the pandemic, at the heart of the pandemic, when people have to stay at home, no single worker in the public sector is missed. No salary cuts were visited on, the, on, on workers in the public sector. On the contrary, not only were they paid in full and their jobs protected, we went further to make it possible to organize free water, free electricity for the ordinary people of our country. That is a measure of the concern of the new patriotic party for working people in our country. 
And it is these concerns for the welfare of ordinary people that will guide the party in the negotiations that we're about to have with the International Monetary Fund. Our responsibility is to confront the difficulties that are confronting our people and find an effective solution to it. And that's exactly what we are going to do. We came to office under an IMF program, a derailed IMF program, which we inherited from the Mahama administration. We worked hard to exit the country from the program. And we were in the process of building a strong economy until the events of COVID and its consequences. I want to assure you and assure the people of Ghana that we're going to negotiate a good deal with the IMF, a deal that will allow us to revive our economy and to continue the task of building an even stronger economy than we had before. And we'll be in a position not only to implement and negotiate, but implement a good arrangement. Our party, we have a tradition of taking Ghana out of difficulties. We took Ghana out of HIPIC in President Kufour's time. We took Ghana out of the derailed IMF program of 2015. Our party was the one that made it possible for us to survive the COVID pandemic with one of the lowest mortality rates of any government, of any country, anywhere in the world. We've done it before, and believe me, we're going to do it again. And in so doing, the strong economy that we're going to build is the economy that is going to provide the platform for our victory in 24. It is our history. sound economic management, respect for human rights, and the rule of law. And an important step, an important step towards that victory is the work we're going to be doing today. Let us make sure that we elect the men and women who can hold us together, who can enable us to work together, and who will be able to provide the leadership for the party to be able to surmount our mantra, breaking the eight. And breaking the eight, we shall in 2024. Before I sit down, I want all of you to join me in saying goodbye to a man who was not originally with us. He belonged to another political tradition, but who saw virtue in our party and in our crisis in 2015 and a handful of our members attempted to sow, to sow unnecessary seeds of discourse and confusion in our party. He stepped forward to take charge of the affairs of our party and led us as a recent convert he led us to victory in 2016. We maintained him in office again. And again, he led us, our party, to victory in 2020. All of us, join me in saying a great, big, are you cold?
Tsinkwa, congratulations to my friend, Elimbele Bele Blay. Elimbele Blay. Well done, and we thank you, and we will never forget your contribution to the progress and welfare of the new patriotic party. And God bless you in your future endeavors. The elephant is yeah, our we symbol. Please be upstanding. We shall win. Can we all be upstanding on our feet? The elephant is our winning symbol. We are born to say Ghana. We are the new, we are the new patriotic party. We are the new. New patriotic party, the elephant is our winning symbol. We have won to save Ghana. Put your hands together thank you, thank once again you, for the president, president of the Republic. Of the Republic. For the president of thank the Republic. You, Mr. President. Thank Mr. you. Mr. President, we are grateful. Mr. Chairman, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to watch a 10-minute document.